Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Downtown Dealers, a roguelike deck building city builder that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Next Fest. Let's pop on in and see what it's all about. Level select. Here you can select a level to play. You start at the bottom of the board and will need to work your way up. Okay. Choose, we got Wasteland or Old Factory. Not the best place to build, but it's cheap. Build anywhere you like, but watch out for the factory. Okay. I'll go for the Wasteland. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? The number of actions remaining. Playing cards uses an action. Advances the wheel. If you run out of actions, you lose. Okay. We've got... These are your objectives. You need to complete two of these in order to win the level. Gain an income. How much money you can add to your budget. Each turn, budget will increase by your income. So it feels like I could probably pretty easily get to the 10 budget. Gain one approval for each community building. Gain a population and an approval. Waste adjacent residential. Gain minus one approval. Interesting. So I'm assuming residential will just be any kind of houses and not just like a residential tag. So I guess we could probably put the office block like here. Every time you play a card, you spend an action. If it hits zero, you lose. Okay, so now every turn. Every turn, budget increases by your income. End turn. Ah, okay. Here's our budget. Represent how, how much money you can spend on cards. Some cards require budget in order to spend. Gotcha. So the upmarket houses will require more. So I guess we'll put down the office block? Do we pop this down? Is this... Okay, good. It is not adjacent. Okay, so that cost a bunch of actions, though. And we do lose a little bit of budget for playing those. Okay. We have 21 actions. Adjacent residential buildings gain gain community. Buildings with community form a group with adjacent community buildings, allow, allowing for powerful bonuses. Okay. Gain four population. Gain a population and approval. Community. So, here's the thing. Adjacent residential buildings gain community. Man, these stinking garbage piles, though. Adjacent residential buildings gain community. I guess maybe we do... This already has community. So pop that there, and then I guess we could just do this. Which gives us... There's our approval. Guide on an empty draw pile. Once your draw pile is run out of cards, your discard pile will shuffle itself into your draw pile. Does nothing, leaves your deck once played. Some effects cards don't target buildings or tiles. Instead, they affect the game directly. I mean... Theoretically, I don't have the budget for this. Gain one income. So we'll end the turn there. I mean, if we just keep on ending turn, theoretically, we gain our budget that we need. We don't need any more approval. We can just keep ending turn, generating our budget. Lose five population. Wait, some kind of event happened there? Oh, oh, we can upgrade a house. Would you look at that? It does take an action. We can upgrade stuff by playing on top of it. I don't really need to work on the population. For now, we just grab the budget, get a guaranteed victory. 31 bucks or a card. Apartment, gain two population. Sure. Community fundraiser, gain a budget for each community building. So it looks like we could have skipped the cards, but... Once we know what they are, we can't skip them, it looks like. Squeeze the building somewhere and be careful around the factories. I like the format of kind of like moving through a, a just a small, tight city builder idea. Adjacent commercial gains minus two income. Listed. What is listed? Okay. 
So this, we have a little bit more actions and we also know red segments are negative effects. Gotcha. So this only, these only impact commercial. Interesting. Upmarket houses, population, adjacent residential, gain community. I mean, theoretically that already has community. But now there we go. We don't want to pop it here. I guess the only safe place on the entire map are the corners for the office blocks. So I guess we want to build them up. Is there a downside to playing the extra population? Oh, it's not upgradable. Understood. Gain one budget for each building in a community. So this is houses. That symbol means you can upgrade it. All right, our budget is pretty rough right now. We have negative one budget, but we're, we're working our way towards a little bit of population. Gain a budget for every community building. I don't know if I want to pop this down because I can't. It's not a community right now. I'll put it right here. Fly tipping. Add a fly tipping card to your deck. And then we'll add a budget for each. It's a little bit rough. Up market houses. These can be uh these can be upgraded. Leaves your deck once played. I mean what do I want my um what do I want my things to be? I'm gonna pop this here. So we have a lot of community buildings. We are gonna gain theoretically a big chunk of approval. We sure did. 24 actions left. Okay, I can't play this and go in the negative. Oof. Income not looking great. Theoretically, we can do that. One approval for each building. We're, we're going to definitely get the approval we need. But that... Uh, that income. Why are we getting such bad income? Adjacent commercial... Is one of these commercial on accident? Because it says it has three income. I mean, we're almost at it. Lose three income for two turns. Oh, no! How am I going to do this? I can't play this. Can't play this. I can play the houses, I guess. But those can't be upgraded. It's fine. I'll pop down the population there. We're going to have to go for population and approval as our victory conditions, I would say. Gain a budget for each community. I mean, we'll definitely take that. Okay, we probably shouldn't even be playing those at this point. Do I care about the budget? Kind of, because we might need to play some houses. So I'll get a little bit of budget. I don't think I care about the... Uh... Approval is going to be easy. We can, we can get that without trying too hard. Population up. Houses, unfortunately, we have to play them down like that. There's our approval maxed out. End turn, we have 10 actions left. All right, there we go. We'll get the population. Yikes. So we can't skip it right now, right? Apply an upgrade to target building each action. That seems really good. If it's like I put a buff on something and then it just keeps on going up. Apply one upgrade to each community building. Those seem really good. Train, trade coin for cards. Downtown dealers. I mean, it shouldn't really matter. We have a, a lot of money. Post office. Increase your hand size by one. Convert your income into budget. That's pretty interesting. Get a population for each building in a community. That sounds like a really nice way to upgrade our population without taking up more space. It also costs no budget. I kind of like that. Income in the budget could be good, could be bad. That's cost five. I don't know, man. 
apply to upgrades. One approval every time the community grows. Is that like a passive? Like I play that and then... I'll tell you what, I'll take a look at that. Nice downtown, be warned, anything can go wrong, make the best of deals. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. What do we got here? Okay, so wait, what do we have here? Oh, we start with the uh, derelict shop. Adjacent commercial get minus two. Commercial get minus two approval. I'll take that. We can convert this. Apply one upgrade to each community building. There we go. So those both get it. Plus one approval. I mean, I guess so, right? Office block. This is not an office block. That's an apartment building. We can just straight up upgrade it, though. Gain an income. We basically just don't want it down there. We want this to be kind of like the residential. And this, I guess, can be the business. Do we care about income? How much do I care about income? How much money you can add to your budget each turn budget increases by your income. It seems like it, it, we'll, we'll go for it. We don't know what these uh, negative effects are going to be. Apply an upgrade to target building every action. It looks like I can't put it... Oh, I can put it on this. Yep. No, straight up. That does just get to keep on climbing. Our population is growing like crazy now. One approval every time the community grows. Just in case. One population for each building in a community. Uh, So this is a park, right? Yep. As far as I remember, yeah, we do get that retroactively. Okay, we're almost at max pop already. Put this down in case we get that other... Um, put this by the park there. So we kind of only care about approval now, don't we? Just like real life. Or um, we might... Might be able to go for budget? Seven budget. I mean, sure. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Gain approval for each community building. There. Yeah, we go for we go for that instead. That's gonna be our win condition for sure. For each building, lose three income. Okay, here comes the approval burst. Cool. Apply all upgrades. Five bucks. Is there a way I can remove cards from my deck? Let I see. Disaster. Earthquake. What do you mean they should? we should delay the building? This is a neat little kind of like minimal sort of quick city builder. I, I, I like the concept a lot. Uh, curious to see what kind of other cards we got. So no idea. This is all completely empty and open as of right now. Apply all upgrades. I'll just separate. We'll do that here. The houses, this can easily be in the corner. I feel like this isn't worth an action yet. An upgrade to a building every action. So this is the upmarket houses. How many, does it say how many max upgrades this can get? Lose five population for three turns. That's, I don't know if it's that big of a deal. An upgrade to each community building. That's probably not where I should put that, but hey. Sure. We have houses. We want to put these by the park. Fly tipping. Cool. Office block. I'm going to separate it out in case we get another one of the apply blank for blank vibes. Do the communities need to be adjacent? I don't recall if they need to be, if they have to be adjacent or if that's just something I've been doing because it feels right. I have two bucks. I could pop down like here and then it 
branches a little bit more out. I'll play it safe and assume that I did it on purpose. Gain one approval each time the community grows. Yes. One population for each building. Okay, there we go. I'll get some budget as well. Why not? Fly tipping. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get that out of here. One upgrade to every community building. Feels good. Man. This is not a community. Let's pop it down there first. Whether or not we need the park is the... I mean, it's a community building of its own. It sounds good. Upgrade to all community buildings. One approval for each. Demolish four random buildings! Okay, well, maybe I actually am screwed. In hindsight. Oh, God. Say so yeah, we don't need that to be at, a, at an upgraded spot, but we do kind of want it adjacent. I mean, so, same deal there. Oh, man, that sucks. Demolish another random building. Okay, so we have 17 population, 24 approval. Our budget is absolutely in shambles, but I think that's okay. Should have done this first. Oh, well. Gain budget just so we can spend a little bit more. I don't know if this is worth an action. I don't think we're playing for that. Upmarket houses. I think let's go ahead and put this so this gets upgraded all the time. Fully upgrade that, which unfortunately looks like one upgrade is a full upgrade, which... Yikes. 32, 35, 29 approval. We do have a penalty coming up here. Gain one approval. Is it worth an action? I'm going to say no. I wish I had um, apartments. I feel like those could get upgraded a lot more. Surely this... No, it can't be... I don't think it can be maxed anymore. So I suppose I'll do that. Demolish a random building, of course. Get that going. Park. I feel like it's a waste of our actions. There we go. Apartment building. We can make that work. Well, we'll start with this. Approval... Two, come on, man. The community is gonna grow. What is this again? Oh, th that's right. Bada bing, bada boom. It's I. <laughs> it's very simplistic, but depending on where they go with some of these events and the cards and stuff like that, if they take it wild. It's really, like, it's a really satisfying, tight little thing. Like, I think that playing with the three simple things there is, is very, very interesting. I would say definitely, like, a, you know, having spicier extra keywords that show up later is probably going to be an important thing, but I think that'll probably happen. So what is this? Adjacent commercial gets minus two income. Let's try and play for income. Income and in what, though, I guess. Lose five population. That's fine. I'm going to go for approval. Income. And we'll get our approval. Approval. Minus lose three income for two turns. Screw you. So there's that. And now we can theoretically end turn. God, the minus four income is, is pretty painful. We'll just pop that down, though. We got the approval we need. Just keep on playing the office block. And now we get four per turn. That's maxed out. Put that in the corner. Office block. Is it worth the budget at this point? It's like, or worth the turn? Probably not. But hey, what do you got? Post office, increase your hand size. I mean, I don't know if I'll end up playing that, but still. 
Adjacent commercial gets minus two approval. We really do not want to play with that. Income, 20 approval needed is a lot for each community building. Community approval. Okay, we'll get the office block building over there. We'll pop down. Because we're, we're going to need to get that approval up like crazy. And we're going to say... Hmm. I guess this doesn't cost very much. Rush the approval. I'm gonna say no to the park. It's a little bit more expensive. One approval for each community. I feel like we uh, we do get it on by default if we just play this and end turn. We'll hit it much sooner than later. Yeah, it's like really not too tough. Lose three budget, would you please? So we play the office block. We increase our income. You son of a gun. There's our approval, should we desire it. Such terrible income. Build another thing. Hand size up. I mean, it's just going to make things tougher. There's the plus five income. Another plus. And then that should be it. Good deal. We can speed run it now. Gain two income. Hold on. Cheap shop. I wonder if the zone you go to is like... Gain a budget for each community building. Probably going to be... Convert income into budget. Sure. Travels every two actions. Gain an income and an approval. I'm going to say yes to that too. That sounds fun. Draw two cards. They have actionless. So they don't take... They just don't take actions? That's so good. We'll take that, too. Thick deck. Who cares? So we went downtown. Let's go dealers. I will say it's about it's probably about time to mention the fact that the name definitely sounds like it's for a different type of game. <laughs> Can't deny. Uh, residential gets minus one approval. Sure. So we do want to start with these. We, we need a decent, like, we need, like, five... Um, you know, community spaces, and we'll be fine. Cheap shop. Absolutely love it. When she smiles. Travels every two action. Shouldn't matter. Pop that up there. Houses. Oh, that was a mistake, that placement. Oh, well. I feel like I can't justify the post office. Convert income into budget. So that's going to be like a, a later thing. That'll be like our... That's our win condition. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Population is not even uh, one of the win conditions. That's actually really cool. I actually really like that. So we probably don't... Probably won't end up using that. I think that's okay. I don't think we want to use that too much. So that moved. Population approval. Approval for each community building. We do. We could go for the approval. Draw two cards. They get actionless. One approval whenever that grows. I guess I shall make it grow. Get the extra approval. This should be actionless. Absolutely incredible stuff there. Represents how much money you can add to your budget. Each turn, budget increases by your income. I mean, increase, increase. How do we get the freaking 20 income? Let's just stop spending stuff for a bit. We, we got our budget. Shop upgrade. Population, we don't need it. One budget for each community building. 
approval we could get there but there's our budget oh does that card cost a lot is that what that was no I don't think so I don't think it innately cost that much did it All right. I mean, I could do this and win. Just like immediately right now. But let's not. Just to just to see. Convert your income into budget. That is exactly something I don't care about. Income and approval. We could probably just keep on. So that's actionless. Cost no action to play. Wait, so do they gain they don't gain actionless forever? Do they? Why are you taking away my income? I think we may need to just play that other card. Convert income into budget. <laughs> Alright, fine. Just in case this uh, is a pretty rough one. We'll just... We'll get the approval. We'll... Pop out of there. Applying upgrades, target building every action. Sounds good. Can put that on one of our um, income like kind of buildings. Population approval budget. So yeah, I, I would say let's build a small community of like, I don't know, like seven, five, seven. And then we'll have a budget. We're going to have stuff getting broken down though. That is going to suck. So we'll go house, house, park, and then fundraiser. We get we just get straight up budget. Demolish a random building. Wait, what got what got demolished? Target building every action. This is early enough where this could be good. Okay. Post office. It is a community. I'll pop it down just just for early on. We'll get the extra hand size. Income actionless. Um, it has to be residential. Yeah. Cheap shop. Go ahead and get it so that gets an upgrade every time. Pop that down. Yeah, it's literally only one possible upgrade. That's fine. Okay. 37 actions. There's the approval. We can start getting that up, but I'm assuming we're going to have an explosion here, basically. And I think that we actually benefit from spreading our buildings out, because if we upgrade one like crazy and then it gets destroyed by the earthquake, that actually is pretty bad. Okay. Fine. Demolish a random building. I don't know what got demolished. I feel like it didn't. Approval whenever the community grows. I feel like I'm not going to be doing that anymore. So let's just go ahead and get the approval. End turn. Raise our budget. Office block. Once again, just spread it out. We want to go wide. One budget for each community building. Should be pretty huge. Food truck. Two cars actionless. I feel like, why not? I think we're good on the parks. Demolish a random building. <laughs> it just blew up my food truck. You dirty devil. Approval for each community building. It's also actionless. One approval whenever this... Oh, this is actionless. I mean, sure, I'll play it. An upgraded target building every action. So, we actually need approval now more than anything. I can't believe that stays actionless. That seems so wrong. I mean... Okay, four random buildings. It seems like that actually did destroy one. 
Is it like destroy four random tiles? Okay, nice and nice clean, actionless, sure at this point. Bing, bang, boom. All right, cool. I mean, I really, really like the concept of this. I think that obviously what it needs is variety and just like go deeper, go wider. And I think that this is actually like a really neat snappy version of the roguelike deck builder city builder, which is a concept I'm starting to see a lot of. But I like, I just like how straightforward this one is and how clean, how tight and snappy it is. I think that there is a really, really good foundation. I think that you run the risk of having things be too like, okay, well, I, I figured it out and now the correct answer is just hit and turn five times. You know, like, I think that that finding a way to solve that potential issue, I think is going to be a big thing. I think that variety is going to be very, very important. I think that maybe having like, I don't know, just like just different, different base mechanics. It's to, uh, to focus on as well, aside from just, um, population support, uh, and, and budget. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you would do, but maybe like there's different types of decks that you could start with where it's like, maybe you need city protection. Maybe, I don't know, whatever. Like maybe you need natural disaster preparedness, like fill in the blank. You, you know, you can be creative with it. Just like different types of, uh, mechanics you could potentially play around with, I think would be really, really fun. And I'm sure that there's like, you know, the building to the, you know, south of this or whatever gets plus one to this thing. I don't know. Like, I think you could play around with a lot of cool ideas and add a lot of variety to this. And I hope that that is what is done because the core base of this, it's just a nice tight experience. Like, it's, there's nothing wild going on. There's nothing crazy going on here, but I really enjoyed playing it for 30 minutes here. And if there was a lot of variety, I'd enjoy playing this, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd boot this up in the morning before I start my work for sure and play a little round. I, I really would. I think I, I think I quite like this. But obviously, going to need more when it's not a demo, but it's a demo, so it's hard to judge it. So, hey. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. Cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should definitely be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.